In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect Razer Viper V3 Hyperspeed. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. If you have the Hyperspeed version of the Viper V3, this is going to be a little bit different to connect than the standard ones. So in this video, I'm going to go over the process and how to properly use your Razer mouse. So when you unbox the mouse, this is what you are going to see. The only included peripheral or accessory is going to be this wireless USB dongle. It is going to be located on this housing below the mouse. So to start, the very first thing that you have to do is open this cover and retrieve the USB dongle. This is what is going to be used to connect the mouse to a PC or laptop. So make sure that you take it away from the battery compartment cover and insert. Now you will have to insert the necessary amount of batteries. This is going to be one battery and you just have to pay attention to the orientation. So place it here according to the polar side. So plus minus and as long as it is placed correctly you will be able to cover it back up. With the battery inserted and the USB wireless dongle removed, you are basically good to go. Now plug the wireless dongle into any USB port on your PC, laptop and your gaming machine. Keep in mind that there is no guarantee that this mouse is going to work for consoles, so it is primarily designed to be used in conjunction with a PC or laptop. You can still try to get it to work, but flawlessly it won't work with all games, so keep that in mind. And with this done, you are good to go. Now. If you look at the bottom of the mouse, you will be able to set it to the on position. So there is going to be a toggle. Make sure that you set it to the on position instead of off. And it will automatically pair itself up with the USB wireless dongle that you connected to your PC or laptop. You will see this LED indicator light up. And whenever it is connected, it will remain connected until it runs out of battery. If you need to charge, use the included cable or insert a new battery and you will be good to go. I hope I was able to help you on how to connect Razer Viper V3 Hyperspeed. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching!